Hi, as I promised, in this video, we will be talking about the power theorems. And these theorems, we will not be talking about angles, but lengths of segments formed by chords, secants, and tangents. To the first one, the intersecting segments of chords power theorem. It is saying that if two chords intersect in the interior of the circle, then the product of the lengths of the segments of one chord is equal to the product of the lengths of the segments of the other. Okay, so may dalawang chords, but then because of the intersection, naputol yung chords into two. So if ever one of them is unknown, we can solve for it. As long as yung ibang putol ay given. Okay, so... Kung titingnan natin yung theorem, segment CF times segment BF is actually equal to segment DF times segment EF. So, medyo mahirap intindihan, pero let's try to understand it better using this example. So, solve for the length of EP. So, ito po si segment EP. Okay. How do we solve for X? How do we solve for this? Okay, we just pattern it to the theorem. This one here multiplied by this one here is equal to this. So yung una kasing gagawin natin dito is to make the working equation. And yung equation na nakabase sa theorem. So let's do it. X times 8. That is actually equal to 6 times 4. Okay? We multiply. 8X is equal to... 24. We divide both sides by 8. The value of x now is equal to 24 divided by 8. Right, 3. So the length of segment EP is 3 units. Okay, so it's very easy. You just have to like make an equation that is based on the theorem. Next theorem, the segments of secant's power theorem. If two secants intersect in the exterior of the circle, so dalawang secants, the product of the length of one secant segment and the length of its external part is equal to the product of the length of the other secant segment and the length of its external part. Huh, <sighs> medyo magulo. But ganito lang yan. So if we multiply this one, yung buong secant segment, from the intersection to this endpoint times the external part, okay? If we multiply them, that will be equal to the length of this whole one times the length of its external part, okay? Medyo magulo pa rin ba? Let's have this example. Solve for the missing length. Missing yung length B, J. So how do we do that? This one, the whole secant segment, so that is 18 plus 12, multiplied it to the length of the external part, which is 12. Well, then that is equal to the length of the whole secant segment of the other secant. So that is x plus 16 times the length of its external part, which is 16. So nakabuo na tayo ng equation. And from this equation, masusolve natin yung value ni x. So 18 plus 12 is 30. But then we can distribute this one. So 16 times 16 is plus 256. Now we multiply this one. 30 times 12 is 360. We move this one to the other side. So magiging minus 256 yen is equal to 16x. So 360 minus 256, that is equal to 104. And so yung value ni x now is 13 over 2, or that is 6.5 units. Okay. So uh, the missing length measures 13 over 2 units. So that's how we do it. We just pattern it to the theorem, make our equation, and solve for whatever is missing. Okay, so let's have the last one. 
the tangent secant segments power theorem. If a tangent segment and a secant intersect in the exterior of the circle, then the square of the length of the tangent segment, so the tangent segment is from the intersection to the point of tangency, is equal to the product of the length of the secant segment, secant segment, yung buo na yan, and its external part. So, square lang natin yung tangent segment that is actually equal to the product of the secant segment and its external part. So let's try it on this example. Find the value of the unknown length. So the unknown length is this one, um, segment BS, and that is X. At ipapattern lang natin naman to sa theorem. Sabi, okay, kung titingnan mo kasi yung unknown, this is the tangent segment. Square natin si tangent segment equal siya sa buong Secant segment, so that is 8 centimeters plus 10 centimeters times, of course, the external part. And we know that the external part is 8 centimeters. Okay? Nakabuna an equation, we just solve for x. Centimeters. Okay, naging square centimeter siya kasi dalawang centimeters ang pinag-multiply mo. So, naging area na siya. Don't forget the units. Okay, we are solving for x. So, we have to take the square root of both para ma-cancel yung exponent. So, yung matitira na dito is x. And so, the measure now of the unknown length is the square root of 144, which is 12. Since na square root na din yung square centimeters magiging centimeters na siya. Okay, so that is it for power theorems. Siguro medyo nalilito ka pa sa secant segment, tangent segment, and external part. Well, yun, you have to be aware of them. And also, you have to be mindful of the unit. Okay, kung may binigay na unit, in this example, may binigay centimeters, then we use this unit centimeters. Sa iba, kapag ka walang binigay, we put units. Okay? Ayan. So, there you go, guys. Bye.